Welcome everybody to another video from Robotic Mower Services. Got an all-wheel drive, a 535 here, up on the bench, and you're probably wondering, what's with that fancy custom shiny tail fin there? Nah, it's not the latest accessory from Husqvarna, that's just a pair of good old-fashioned vice grips, and I have them on there for a reason. And the reason is to make it easier for you to see what I'm about to explain to you. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail here about how the the, the front chassis on an all-wheel drive knows where the rear chassis is at and a little bit more of what's involved there and give you some tips on repairs to kind of make your life a little bit easier. If you watched the video where I tore the rear chassis apart from an all-wheel drive, showed you what was in there, kind of explained things a little bit, what they are and how they work, then you remember we talked about this center magnetic sensor board right here. Because the two on the outside, we know that they're for the magnets out here to tell if there's a, a collision or any kind of movement on the body, front, back, side to side, and all around. But that middle one, that is to sense the placement of this magnet right here, which is in the bottom of this shaft, which is in this arm. And that arm is right down there. And that shaft is sticking up through. And that is what my vice grips are clamped to. Because in this assembly, this arm is mounted to the rear chassis, just like this right here. And when the rear chassis moves, the shaft is held in place so that the, the magnetic sensor board here is actually moving underneath of the magnet. It's not the shaft moving, it's the sensor board itself moving underneath there. And to give you a little bit better explanation of this and help you understand better what's going on here, we'll go to talking about this shaft here first. This, if I can get my camera to focus here, so you can see the keyway, there we go. There's a keyway right there, and 180 degrees, there's another keyway. There's also flats across the top here. And you can see those flats right there. That is what I've actually got my vice grips clamped down to on the flats. These flats, the way that these are facing, correspond to the way that magnet is facing. So if your magnet is 180 degrees from the arm, then these flats will be 180 degrees from the direction of the arm. If you put these flats parallel with the arm, then your magnet will be parallel with the arm. You don't want your magnet to be parallel with your arm when you're putting this back together because the keyway that's molded into this spine right here of the all-wheel drive automower is here and you want it to go into the keyway in the back to the slot to line everything up. Now when it does that, that keyway goes or that, that key goes into the keyway and this is a taper, it's just like a, a tie rod on a car. You put it up there, you tighten that nut down, you got the keyway and the taper fit, and it's going to pinch this tight. So now your arm can move, but the shaft doesn't. And if you give me a second here, I'm gonna turn on my um, I'm gonna record my screen on auto check so you can show so I can show you this later on here how um, everything moves, but you'll see that these vice grips, which are clamped to the top of the shaft, they don't move, and this whole thing here will move. So let me let me just flip on my uh, laptop here. All right, now as I said, as I as I rotate this uh, rear chassis, you'll see the arm down here. It's going to move, and these vice grips, which are clamped to the shaft, will not move. So here we go. We are we're at zero right now. Um, zero because this has been calibrated so this is in line with the the front of the all-wheel drive mower here and as soon as we go to turn that you'll be able to see on auto check that now we're at that's saying 34 degrees so this is rotated 34 degrees because when it's front to back when it's in line after it's been calibrated it's at at zero zero degrees so if we go back the other way we can turn past that and now we're going into negatives and we are up to, where are we gonna stop at here? That, there we go, we maxed that out. And we're at negative 
88 degrees, so we're almost 90 degrees off. 89, can't quite get the full 90 there. Um, you know, as we bring it back, you'll see the degrees change, and then we can bring it back to where we got it at. There's three, four, three, zero. There we go. We're perfectly, oh, almost. Treads on the wheels are throwing me off there a little bit. But anyway, we're at like one degree now, so you're not going to notice that. But anyway, we're pretty much lined up. Now, here's the part that a lot of people don't understand and a lot of people miss, and they wonder why I, I just put this thing back together. I unbolted it, and I put it back together, and now the thing's driving across the yard like this, and the back end is fighting the front end, and it's just going in a circle. What do I do? Oh, man, well, you got to bring it into the dealer, and they've got to recalibrate it because, you know, you had this all apart, and the, the sensor doesn't know where the magnet's at anymore and all that good stuff. Bring it in. We'll hook it up to auto check. We'll take care of it. Before you do all that, especially if your dealer is pretty far away, I just gave this away if you're paying attention. This has two keyways on it, right? Let me bring that into focus again there. So you have one there and then 180 degrees you have another one and if this is facing this way when you take it apart and you say all right i just need to put that together with the flats and the magnet facing this way compared to the spine and the mower right because it's going to go up there and it's going to latch into that hole and the keyway is going to get out or the key is going to go down the keyway Everything's going to work, and it'll be back together the way it should be. What a lot of people don't forget or don't think about is um, magnet down there. What do you know about magnets? There's a north pole and a south pole, right? So if you put your mower back together, and it's doing one of these numbers, and the back end is fighting the front end, what do you think happened? Chances are, when you put it back together the magnet was rotated around and now it's going the opposite direction. You've got the North Pole where the South Pole used to be and the South Pole where the North Pole used to be. And if you connect this to auto check, when you do that, it will actually show that this thing is, is off 180 degrees. And the reason for that is magnet spun around. So what you can do to save yourself a little bit of time when you go to take this apart is you could mark that and you can mark one side as the front or one side as the back on this shaft right here on these on these flats um you know if you're pulling it straight down out of there you can mark it then here somewhere to let you know which side was facing front which side was facing back and chances are when you put that back up in there if this thing's going to run straight across the yard it's not going to be all confused it's not going to be all wonky now, if you're a dealer and you go ahead and you put that in there and you put it backwards, it's no big deal because you can just go to auto check and you can say, all right, we're lined up there, calibrate, boom, it's good to go. Now it's going to think that, all right, we're at zero. We calibrate this thing, it's at zero, and now off we go. We can literally take this thing with auto check and we can set it to where it's like that and calibrate it and tell it, no, this is actually zero. And it will do that. And just to show you here, let me hit the calibrate button on auto check. We're at we're at negative 41 degrees from where we started, and I'm gonna hit the calibrate button. There we go. So now it thinks that this is zero. When I bring this back to where it's straight we're at we're 42 degrees off again because remember we were we were at zero when we were here and i turned it 42 degrees told it to calibrate and it thinks that 42 degrees off is zero so that's what happens with this if you mark that then you're going to be able to put it back together without it being 180 degrees off let me just recalibrate this again and set this as our zero back to where it should be. So 
so there we go. Now AutoCheck is telling the automower, hey, you're perfectly lined up, and it is actually lined up, so we're good to go. But again, that's going to be something huge for you guys that, um, you know, you don't want your mower sitting at the dealership waiting to just be calibrated because you took it apart and you put a new switch cord in there or something. You know, you took it apart because this piece right here, this plastic got busted and you had to take all this apart to get in there to remove all this. Um, you know, something happened to your, your charging contacts and you had to take all this apart and this got, this got removed from the spine of the mower. That's it. You just want to make sure this index the right way. Again, if it's fighting itself after you put it back together and it's going across the yard doing one of these numbers, that's moving because the cord's pulling on it, not because of the shaft spun. Um, flip it around. Just take it apart. Flip this shaft around 180 degrees. Put it back up in there and watch what happens. Good chance it's going to solve your problem. So there you go. Hopefully you watched this the whole way through and now you know how to save yourself a little bit of time, a little bit of money, and a little bit of headache and not have your mower just beating the crap out of itself and tearing up your grass as it's shimmying and shaking and fighting across the yard like this because we've seen this happen many times. Uh, so as always, whether you have an all-wheel drive or you have any auto mower or you're looking to buy an auto mower, place to go is www.roboticmowerservices.com. Check out our website if you want to buy an auto mower, auto mower parts, auto mower accessories, or you're looking for technical support for your auto mower. If you can't find what you're looking for on our website, then there's plenty of ways on the website to reach out and contact us. Plenty of links on there that'll pop up emails and everything else that will um, you'll be able to send to us to get our attention. If you want to go a more direct route, you can email us right off the bat. Send the email to roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. Give us the serial number, the model number, everything you can about the mower to help us figure out what you've got that you're working on and give us a good description of what it is you're looking for or what you need help with. And we'll do the best we can to get you hooked up and help you out and try to get you fixed up with whatever it is that you may need pertaining to your auto mower. Again, www.roboticmowerservices.com that's our website email address roboticmowerservices at gmail.com that's going to do it for this video here as always thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel